Alexander Fleming was born in Ayrshire, Scotland on August 6, 1881. He lived with his parents, Hugh and Grace, and had three siblings, as well as four half-siblings. He moved to London and attended the Regent Street Polytechnic, now the University of Westminster. While he had initially planned to become a surgeon, a temporary position in the inoculation department at St. Mary's Hospital had inspired him to become a bacteriologist. He researched at St. Mary's under Sir Almroth Wright, a pioneer in vaccine therapy. During World War I, Fleming served in the Royal Army Medical Corps and had been a bacteriologist that studied infected wounds during the war. In his time doing this, he discovered that current antiseptics that were being used were doing more harm than good on the patients. Returning to St. Mary's after the war, he took on a new position as the assistant director of St. Mary's inoculation department and was elected the professor of the school in 1928. In November 1921, while nursing a cold, Fleming had discovered lysozyme, an enzyme that was produced in the body. It was found in a bodily fluid, specifically a drop of mucus that dripped into a culture of bacteria. He had observed that the bacteria had been dissolved. In September 1928, Fleming had returned from a month away with his family, and in his laboratory, he had left out a culture of and he had noticed that it had been contaminated with a mold, which he called mold juice at the time, but later named it Penicillium notatum. He decided to investigate further, and even diluted Penicillium notatum 800 times. Fleming realized that he could not handle the task of creating the successful penicillin that we know today all by himself. So he employed fellow scientists to help. These scientists were still unable to purify penicillin. Soon after his discovery, a team of scientists in the University of Oxford, mainly Howard Florey and his co-worker Ernst Chain, were able to isolate and purify penicillin. Laurie Chan and Fleming shared the 1945 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, but their relationship was tainted over the thought of who would get more credit for the discovery of penicillin. The press was on Fleming's side. Fleming and his discovery have revolutionized the treatment of infectious materials. Penicillin has changed our ways of treating infections entirely in the medical field. Some diseases it was able to cure include chlamydia, stomach ulcers, tooth abscesses, strep throat and scarlet fever, staph infections, which can lead to the amputation of effective limbs and appendages, leptospirosis, Lyme disease, typhoid fever, gas gangrene, and a flesh-eating disease. It has also led to development and discovery of other antibiotics such as streptomycin, which effectively cured tuberculosis. The way that penicillin works is by preventing cells from dividing. It does not allow them to synthesize the cell wall, and when the cell attempts to duplicate, it ruptures and kills itself. Alexander Fleming served as president of the Society for General Microbiology. He was a member of the Pontifical Academy of Science and honorary member of almost all the medical and scientific societies of the world. Also awarded doctorate honoris causa, degrees of almost 30 European and American universities. Alexander Fleming died on March 11th in 1955 of a heart attack and is buried in St. Paul's Cathedral.